Why does it feel that the amount of work you've got increases straight after a meeting? Because now you've got to remember everything that was said in the meeting for the next one. Chase up all the action points in your team and also write all of those professional minutes down and share them as well. Does that sound familiar when you've completed meetings? Or what if I told you that Microsoft Copilot can do all of that for us in a matter of minutes? From generating a transcription of your meeting in real time, to also getting an audio recap, we can play that later, and even writing all of those minutes in a polished Word document, and without you feeling any of that stress. And these features I'm going to show you today are ones that I use every single day. And when I also share them with our clients who want to get more from Copilot, well, it also blows them away in what's possible and how much time they can really save. But before we head in, over 90% of you who watch regularly on this channel aren't subscribed. So if you've ever found one of our videos useful, can you please do me a favor and hit subscribe? It really helps the channel. And the bigger this channel gets, well, the more tutorials we can bring you every single week. So if you're now ready to save hours every single week and take your meetings to a whole new level, well, let's head into Teams and find out how. The best way to get started and transcribe a Teams meeting is when you're an internal participant or the meeting organizer, select the free dot more menu, record and transcribe, and then select start transcription. At which point you'll then be prompted to let Copilot know what language is everyone speaking. With that now set, on the right hand side your transcript window will now appear. And as me and Alex begin discussing the relevant meeting topic, we'll now see it appear in the right hand side. So yes, the transcription, you'll be able to see it at all times during your meeting. But you can of course close it by clicking the X button on the right hand side of your transcript window. And that won't stop the transcript, it'll just close the window itself. But you're probably thinking, well, what's new there? But if you now select the Copilot option in your Teams meeting, you can now ask Copilot a question about the meeting that you're in. Maybe you've switched off, read an email, and you can't remember a particular point and want to follow up and understand what you've covered in that meeting. Well, you can ask Copilot in real time without anyone knowing. We'll simply give Copilot a prompt here to summarize what's been discussed in this meeting so far. And in real time, Copilot comes back and covers the key points that we've discussed. Not only then can it provide a summary, but we can even ask it to generate things like task lists so we can also summarize them at the end of our meeting. With that prompt now given to Copilot, we'll see live on the screen that a task list is generated that we can now again refer back to at the end of our meeting to make sure everyone picks up the relevant tasks or copy it and put it into a different app of our choice. But what happens at the end of your meeting? When you're now coming to a close, you have a couple of choices. What we can firstly do is we can actually stop the transcript, click the free dot more menu and select stop transcription. That's an ideal way if the conversation is going off topic and you don't want any thoughts or personal comments to be added into the notes. But it's best to click into the drop down next to leave and select end meeting. That ensures that everyone leaves the meeting, the transcription ends, and there's no additional comments being added into the transcript that could be referred back to later that really shouldn't be in the notes. So select end meeting and then end to close out our Teams meeting. But what happens post your meeting? Well, let's go ahead and reopen the meeting from our Microsoft Teams calendar. And we can see the meeting recap is now shown. It summarizes the key points taken from the meeting. It also notes who spoke during the meeting, any mentions of me in particular, and any tasks that need to be followed up with after the meeting itself. But do we also see this in a new version of Outlook? We absolutely do. Going into our Outlook calendar, reopening the same meeting, we see the same meeting recap also appearing in the new version of Microsoft Outlook. And by selecting View Recap, well, you'll be taken into a separate window, showing you an AI summary of all the points discussed. But also there's now a new option. Instead of just checking out and reading through lots of meeting notes, we can select audio recap and we'll be taken into the Meet app in Microsoft Teams. And not only do we see this meeting, in fact, we can look at all of our meetings where a transcript actually was taken all the way back to 30 days and have our audio summary taken into up to eight meetings of our choice and even changing the style of the audio recap. It's capability that we haven't seen 
where audio recap is available in other parts of Microsoft 365. But by using this single meeting, noting again that I could use multiple if I wanted to, let's go ahead and generate an audio recap. You'll now be taken to a new tab, and in real time, we now have an audio recap being generated by Copilot. With our audio recap now generated, I'm sure you're intrigued to see what it actually sounds like. Let's go ahead and click on the play button. Hi Scott, today is Friday, September 5th, 2025. We've got one meeting lined up, Project Green Space Catch-Up. In the Project Green Space Catch-Up, Scott Brandt called attention to budget overruns and the need for planning adjustments. The main focus was on reducing subcontractor costs and speeding up architectural development to get the project back on track. Key actions included negotiating with the architecture team for a shorter schedule and setting a follow-up in a week to check progress. The team's aiming for clear cost savings and a faster timeline, with decisions lined up for the next check-in. So as you can see, a pretty useful summary. By bringing in other meetings this summary, we could catch up over a week or even the month. But I know what you may be thinking, how can you also get back to these later? While directly through the Meet app in Teams, you can also select through previous audio recaps you're generated. So yes, there's also options to get back to them you've generated in the last 60 days. And you can play them back again for a quick reminder before you go to that all-important follow-up meeting. Let's take a quick pause for a moment, because if you're watching this, you're probably now realizing just how powerful Copilot can be for all of your meetings, especially if you use it correctly. Because here's the thing, most people only scratch the surface. They maybe use Copilot to draft a few emails, but they miss the deeper capabilities that can save them hours every single week. And they simply feel it's not worth the time. And that's where we can help, because at Your365 Coach, we have a range of on-demand learning, training courses, and even coaching to help you and your team unlock all of that value that you need from the help of co-pilots and AI. So if you're ready to go from experimenting and playing with Copilot to fully embracing it, why not get in contact with me at our website link below to find out more and how we can help you on your journey. Now, let's get back to Copilot in Teams and continue to advance our meetings. But also, it's really important that following your meeting, we take a note of the minutes and share them with our suppliers. Noting that those suppliers are external to Teams, they never saw the transcript and they can't also access it through audio recaps in the way that you did. But that also means in Copilot, we can have these meeting minutes drafted for us. By opening up Microsoft Word, I'll go ahead to our Copilot prompt box and I'll ask it to generate me the minutes from this meeting written in a professional manner. Clicking on the forward slash key, we can also now select from the meetings tab and select from the meeting that we had with Alex to also ensure that all of those meeting notes and they can be generated for me in Microsoft Word. And there we go. In less than 30 seconds, we'd have the meeting details, who joined, the agenda, then all the discussion points that we covered in the meeting and even the actions, next steps, and also when the meeting was closed. We can make any changes here by changing the format and more. So that's a quick way to take your Copilot enabled meeting and take your minutes into Word, share them with your suppliers and customers in minutes rather than hours. But what about asking questions of your meeting? What if the meeting happened a few weeks ago and you couldn't remember a particular point and it wasn't noted in the Microsoft Word meeting notes or the audio recap that we've seen? What we can easily do is click view recap once again from the meeting invitation. And this point, select the Copilot option on the right hand side. And just like we asked in the meeting, we see now a list of all the questions I asked Copilot within the meeting itself. But we can now begin to ask questions of Copilot to help me remember a particular point that I couldn't quite grasp from all of those different resources. Let's go ahead and give Copilot a question to focus on a specific point I need to remember ahead of my follow-up meeting. With that question given to Copilot, you can see here that Copilot looks across the transcript and can they respond about that point around the cost saving measures. So there we go. We also have the ability to ask questions of Copilot post the meeting to remember one particular point. And that's great capability, 
but also we can use Copilot Chat by selecting Copilot in Microsoft Teams or accessing it on the web. And under your work tab, well, we can now ask Copilot much the same. Let's go ahead and give Copilot a question around that particular point around cost management on Project Greenspace. Now, before we go ahead and send this question to Copilot, it's always best to give Copilot a pointer. So let's go ahead and click on the forward slash key, select meetings and choose from the meeting itself that this particular question is relating to. By going ahead and giving it to Copilot, it'll now look through the transcript once again and then come back with a relevant answer. We can see here that we discussed around being over budget and also potentially subcontracts the costs are high and reducing them could yield quick wins. So that's also given me a similar answer. But I have a catch up meeting around with our senior management team. Could I also have this information that I can also run in an agenda in our next meeting? Well, that's exactly what Copilot Chat can help with. Let's go ahead and I give Copilot that question to generate me a meeting agenda that we can catch up with my senior management team around these key points. Giving that once again to Copilot, well it now begins to create the meeting agenda, once again from the transcript and the information that I've also provided. That now means that we can take the transcript information taken from our meeting and use it in a variety of different ways to catch up ahead of a further meeting or just to ensure we also understood that key point I couldn't quite remember after a couple of weeks of being out of the office. So there you go, your meeting notes are much more powerful when you use them inside of your Teams meeting with the help of Copilot. And there you have it, we've now found a smarter way to run your meetings, especially when you have Teams and Copilot working together. And if we also take a step back, well all we had to do was enable transcription. One single setting gave us a range of different options from instant audio recaps to professional word minutes, all drafted and ready for us in less than 10 minutes. And let's face it, how many times have you also switched off in a meeting and nodded along and thought, well, I really should have heard that before I nodded along. And that's why you can now simply ask Copilot in your meeting to find out what you missed when you switched off. So can all of these new features save you time? I'd honestly love to know in the comments too. But this isn't the end of the topic either. There are brand new updates coming to the Facilitator app. And so we've got even more to cover on meeting notes in Teams and Copilot in the near future. So why not hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you won't miss any future tutorials. And of course hit the like button to let me know this tutorial has helped you out. And other than that, well, I'll see you in the next one.